So all those lights in the dash came on because the 2UZ secondary air injection system is stuck closed or in some cases stuck open. So I've got this kit from Hewitt Technologies. It's just a bypass system, a wire that taps into your fuse box and then some block off plates. This system costs a fraction of what it would be to replace the entire secondary air injection system, which, which and from what I'm told, it's not necessary. It's just something they had to do back then to get it to pass emissions. So I'm going to make a simplified video and in installing it in this 2005 Forerunner. So to start, I just need to get each of the front wheels off. So where the block off plate is going to go is right between these two pipes. So the bolts back there are a 10 millimeter block off plate, real small. You should be able to leave the bolts on and just slide the block off plate between it. Alright, there we go. Okay, so a socket worked a lot easier for that back one. We're just going to loosen these as much as we can. Now we're gonna need to pry that away. So I don't want to pry on the flange themselves because then you can ruin the, the flange. So I was able to just pry the, the pipe itself backwards. And then I slid the block off plate right between these two flanges. All right, so I tightened those bolts back up with a 10 millimeter socket. And looks like that block off plate is good. So I live in Arizona and this car is essentially rust free. So the bolts broke loose pretty easily. Um, but if that's not the case for you, just get some PB blaster, shoot it on the bolts, let it sit overnight and it should break loose pretty easily. So on this side, there's a lot more room up here just to push the um, piping back itself and getting that block off plate in was pretty easy. Okay, so now we have to install the actual bypass adapter, which it needs to tap into the stock MAF sensor. So I think I'm going to mount it right here. So I just need to clean this area up. Okay, so now we're just gonna remove this sticky tape. I think I'm gonna mount it this way so that I can tuck all this wiring down here. Now we're gonna remove the stock MAF sensor. Put our bypass in. Connect the stock one into the bypass. So you just wanna make sure that with all this extra wire loom, you don't have it anywhere close to the engine block. Okay, now we're gonna come over here to the fuse box. Okay, so the fuse we are looking for is this STA which is gonna be this fuse right here. So I'm going to use this little O-ring tool to carefully take out this fuse. So we got the fuse out. So now that we have the fuse out, we're gonna take this supplied wire. They even start the splicing for you just to make it super easy. So we're just gonna pull that off with the pliers. And then I believe we're going to wrap it around this prong without touching these copper ones because it will fry the bypass module. So I'm gonna twist it up just to make it easier. And we wanna get it as tight as we can onto itself. So as you can see, I just wrapped it around the prong itself and then, and then just twisted it back together. So I think that's good. It's got plenty of clearance between the two prongs. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug that back in. Now what I'm gonna do is just run it up through the weather stripping, up through the side, and then along the windshield and over to that side. So I've pulled it all through the weather stripping. It goes from that side over to here. Okay, so I took the wire under the air box, put it under this wire loom here under this wire loom, zip tied it to this ground wire here, and zip tied it here. It's not too tight, so it's not gonna rip, but I think that's about as OEM plus as it's gonna get. 
If you don't have one of these tools, they are very handy. This is what gave me peace of mind. I was in St. George with my family and I just used this to read the code. Did some research online and figured out that it was just from the weather being cold and the system was stuck closed. So these are very convenient. All right, so codes are cleared. If they don't come on after two cold starts, then you've installed it correctly. So big shout out to Hewitt Technology. Clear those codes and bypass your secondary air injection system and save you about $3,000.